guys, it's me, B, with another video. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I store my mochi toys, um, different ways you can store your mochi toys, and ways to display your mochi toys. This video was requested by Lola Hopkins, so shout out to her. If you have a video idea or would like a shout out, just comment down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. So, how do I store my mochi toys? I keep my mochi toys in the Kuyuka box that it came in. So, um, I tend to keep them in here for the most part. Um, if you've seen my mochi toy reveal videos, you may have noticed that you can see them at like the very edge of the camera footage. Um, that's because I used to keep them on my desk, but I ran out of space. So now I keep them in this box. It makes it really easy to store and bring with me places. So I really like this. So that's how I store my mochi toys for the most part. Um, other easy ways to store your mochi toys. If you don't have a box, you can use a Ziploc bag. Um, depending on how many you have, you won't need that many. Um, so that's another easy way to store them. A more aesthetically looking way to store them is to put them in mason jars. The other thing is, um, this probably takes up less space because you can really pack them in there and this is approximately maybe a little bit less than 30 mochi toys and they all fit in this jar and it actually kind of looks kind of nice so that's another really easy way to store them if you don't have mason jars don't fret you can use any clear or non-clear jar like if you want the aesthetic look then you'll probably want a jar but if you don't you can use like old ice cream containers that um that you've obviously cleaned out not the Ben and Jerry's one, but I know there's one company, Taliente, that like their ice cream comes in plastic containers. So you can keep those and put them in there. So that's another idea. So those are easy ways to store your mochi toys. Now, if you want to keep them on display, let's get on with that. So, an easy way to display your mochi toys in your room is to put them on your windowsills. This is a fun way to store them because if you don't have the blinds down, you can have the sun reflecting on the mochi toys, and it's just a cute thing to have on your windowsill. You can make fun designs, you can make turn, you can do patterns rainbow order there's infinite possibility so now you can see all of the mochi toys lined up on the windowsill and it's super cute and an easy way to store your mochi toys and put them on display another very similar idea is to put them on a ledge in your room so i know not all walls have these but you have like the wood part and then the cement part and so you can also line them up here if you have a bigger mochi toy collection, this might be a better move for you because there's more space um, if it goes around your entire wall than just a couple ledges in your room by your windowsill. So you kind of get the idea, but you can just put them up all along here. So now you know all the places that you can put your mochi toys, what are different cool designs that you can do with your mochi toys to switch it up or to make it look more interesting. So when I had my mochi toys on display, some things I like to do was rainbow order. Now I noticed with mochi toys that a lot of them are yellow. So when you do rainbow order, there is like an imbalance. But if that's something you're okay with, then it doesn't really matter. So this doesn't go out of frame. I'm just going to do a second row. They also don't have like strong green, so the blue is more of like a turquoise. And then the white ones you can put at the front or the back. 
And so I think when these are all laid out and displayed, it's really cute. Um, another way you can do it is based on shape or size. So what I mean is, for example, I have multiple circular ones. So I can put these next to each other. Um, or I have a bunch of these cats, so I can put the cats next to each other. And just different way, different ideas. Like these three are all the same body shape, so these can go next to each other. So this will give you more of that, like, they all look the same that are next to each other look. The colors might not match up, but yeah. Um, so for example, I have two unicorns, so they'd go next to each other. These are roughly similar. This one stands up like the unicorns. This one's flat like the suns. This one's kind of like that. This one's laying flat on its back like this one. This one's a loner, but it's standing up. So you can organize it that way, or you can do it random, which also kind of give it gives it its own unique look. So those are tons of ways that you can display your mochi toys. I know this video was kind of self-explanatory, but um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see more Mochi Toy videos or me unboxing my Mochi Toy videos, you can check out my Mochi Toy playlist down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.